Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about one of my most anticipated films of the year, Kingsman The Golden Circle, which is of course the sequel to Kingsman The Secret Service, which happens to be one of my all-time favourite comic book films. Now the reason I was really excited for Kingsman The Golden Circle is of course because I love the first one and secondly because Matthew Vaughn, the director of the first film, never comes back to film his sequels. He didn't do it with Kick-Ass, he didn't do it with X-Men, but there had to be something special about Kingsman for Matthew Vaughan to return as director. And let's just say I have mixed feelings about Kingsman at the Golden Circle. But let's get into it. So the Golden Circle follows Eggsy as he continues to work for the secret service called Kingsman in London. But when a new threat arises in Poppy, played by Julianne Moore, and threatens the existence of Kingsman, Eggsy and Merlin travel to America to enlist the help of their American cousins, the Statesmen. So to me, a sequel should have the same fun and the same flair as the first film. It should develop more in the characters and just up the level of everything else. Up the level on the action up the level on the storyline. And while Kingsman the Golden Circle did have the same flair as the first film, it maybe was too similar. To me the plot of the Golden Circle basically reflects the same plot as the Secret Service. It's very very similar and doesn't really do it better in any way. We have this villain in Julianne Moore's Poppy who has this big company who's planning to take over the world and destroy everything, much like Valentine in at the Secret Service, and of course the Kingsman and the Statesman have to stop them. It's very, very by the numbers. And while we do have the new addition of the new characters in the Statesman, including Channing Tatum's tequila and Pedro Pascal's whiskey, we don't actually get to spend enough time or learn about these new characters to really care for them. What I really loved about Kingsman The Secret Service is we spent enough time with Eggsy and with Roxy and with the whole team, with Harry and Merlin, and you really got to care for these characters and you loved following them along. Whereas in The Secret Circle, they were kind of focusing way too much on trying to up the ante, on the action, and some of the very graphic scenes. There were some very vulgar, very unnecessary scenes that had really no relevance to the plot and could have easily been cut out to make the runtime shorter. The only characters in this one I was really invested in were obviously Harry, Eggsy, and Merlin. If you didn't already know, Harry Hart comes back from the dead. It's in the trailer, it's in the poster, it's not a spoiler, chill out. I wanted them to make me care about the Statesman, and I just didn't. I cared about Elton John more than I cared about the Statesman. That's really saying something. While I did enjoy the action sequences, I love the way Matthew Vaughn shoots them. I love his camera work and how you can actually see the action take place and how badass it is. Those were probably the best and funnest parts of this film. The comedy isn't as good as the first film. There weren't as many laughs and jokes. Most of them just fell flat. The writing just felt too overcrowded with them trying to up the ante and not focusing on what really matters the characters. Reflecting back onto what I initially thought about the film, I thought it was a great fun time. It still is a great fun time, but when you think about it, what you expect from a sequel, I didn't get enough of that in The Golden Circle. Kingsman The Golden Circle is what Kick-Ass 2 is to Kick-Ass, and Matthew Vaughn didn't even direct Kick-Ass 2. Like, how? <laughs> and maybe now I understand why Matthew Vaughn didn't want to do the sequels on his other films, because he didn't want to repeat himself, and that's kind of just happened here, so... I don't think he'll be returning to do the third one. I don't think that's gonna happen. And while general audiences will really have a fun time with this film, the action sequences are great, it's a fun action movie. I don't think fans of the first film are gonna be pleasantly surprised by this. I think they're gonna be disappointed, as I was. It was one of my most anticipated films of the year, and I don't think it's gonna be in my top 10, which is really disappointing considering I was so excited to see Matthew Vaughn take on this story again. Whether or not there will be a Kingsman 3, I don't know. I think I'd be curious to see where it went now that the Statesmen are involved, but I don't know. Anyway, if you have seen Kingsman the Golden Circle, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. And did you prefer the first one over the second one, or vice versa? If you liked this review, please give it a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting on lots more videos very, very soon. All my social media links, including my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Letterboxd, will be down below in the description, as always. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye!